It's like something out of a movie. Beautiful scenery dotted with cedar, fir, pine and spruce trees with valleys that stretch for miles amid snow-capped mountains. Something that wouldn't look out of place in Switzerland or any other European country. But this is a place that's closer to us in our own country, a part of the beautiful state of Himachal Pradesh and a section of their vast and sprawling wildlife sanctuaries. This is the Chamba Wildlife Division. There is an age-old saying, look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. That saying holds true here. Peace, tranquility and beauty are some of the words that spring to mind when you see this place for the first time. However, these words barely do justice to the beauty that the Chamba Wildlife Division exudes. Vibrant and colorful. Living and breathing. And this is all thanks to the government initiatives that help preserve this serenity by declaring wildlife sanctuaries in Chamba, a home to over 300 bird species and 400 insect species, herbivores and carnivores among others. As the second largest wildlife sanctuary in Himachal Pradesh and the largest in the Chamba Wildlife Division, the Kukti Wildlife Sanctuary plays an important role in conservation and ensuring the continuation and preservation of wildlife in the state. It is one of the last known homes of the brown bear and Himalayan thar, and was the recipient of even better news in 2006 when the first snow leopard was recorded here in decades. Kukti is also a hiker's paradise and there is a trek that connects to Lahore through the famous Kukti Pass. It isn't uncommon for tourists visiting Kukti to navigate large herds of sheep and goats owned by the people who live there. A sneak peek into their lives as shepherds. The sanctuary also has several small tributaries originating from various glaciers merging to form the river Ravi. Connected to Kukti by a beautiful forest corridor, the Tunda Sanctuary is located at the junction of the Tunda Nala and the River Ravi. The sanctuary is especially known for its variety of flowering plants and animals and birds like the Goral, Ibex, Leopard, Flycatchers, Yellow-throated Martin, among others all living in the picturesque undulating topography where the lines and creases of nature meld into one another. A short drive away, located in the scenic Bhandal Valley, is the Gamgul Wildlife Sanctuary. Adjoining the state of Jammu and Kashmir at its northern end, Gamgul is host to a variety of plants and animals like juniper, birch, diodar, blue pine, rhododendron, Himalayan weasel, jungle cat, leopard cat, musk deer, mona, charcoal. The list is endless. And all this is in over 100 square kilometers of beautiful terrain, just waiting to be explored. If Gamgul was an expansive wildlife sanctuary in a valley, the Kala Top Kajiar Sanctuary is the exact opposite. A dense forest with minimal wildlife, but an overabundance of trekking trails. From trails that go straight up mountain sides to those that wind their way through valleys, Kala Top is an absolute delight to trekkers, hikers, and wildlife enthusiasts alike. 
It is also situated about 12 kilometers from Dalhousie, so it is easily accessible. One of the best trekking trails in and around the area finishes atop the beautiful Dangund Hill, which gives you a panoramic view of the surrounding hills and valleys. The sanctuary has the famous saucer-shaped Kajiar Lake, surrounded by meadows, a place that was designated as Mini Switzerland in 1992 by the Swiss government. If beautiful trails, undulating landscapes, gorgeous scenery, pure mountain air, pristine water and a tranquility only occasionally broken up by the sounds of nature are things that entice you. Bring your aching heart to Himachal Pradesh and fill the wanderlust in you. A magical place that is most certainly